right, in this video I'll solve this problem. I'm looking at the function f of x equals x, so pretty simple, on the interval from 0 to 2 pi, and I want to see how I can approximate it by trigonometric polynomials. So we know we need to take projection onto this space, and we know we have an orthonormal basis for it. All right, so it's just a matter of computing inner products, and we'll get it. So let's try it. So we want g of x to be, where we're going to take every element of that orthonormal basis and take a dot product with x and multiply it by this. And we'll keep doing it. The last one, because we're in degree 3 or less, will be 1 over root pi sine of 3x. 1 over root pi sine, sorry, but we want space. Plus 1 and over root of pi sine 3x. 1 over root pi sine 3x. Right, so I'll need to compute all of these. So each one is an integral. Um, I have 1 cos sine, cos 2, sine 2. I have 7 of them to compute. So let's start. This will be the integral of 1 over root 2 pi x. My interval is from 0 to 2 pi, and that's important because if it's something else, then this basis is not orthonormal anymore. All right, so this is what I have. I'm going to get 1 over root 2 pi x squared over 2 from 0 to 2 pi. I'm going to get um, 2 pi squared, so 4 pi squared over 2 root of 2 pi. Alright, so this is this term here. It's going to get multiplied by 1 over root 2 pi, so this will simplify a bit and will get nicer. Um, let's compute the next one. We should look at 1 over root 2 pi cos of x. Ah, uh, sorry. I've changed the wrong one. Cos of x, x. So I'm getting the integral like this. Um, I'm going to have to compute this with cos of x, cos of 2x, cos of 3x. So let's do it in general. And that's going to help me for b as well. So let's say the integral from 0 to 2 pi, x cos kx dx. Um, this is integration by parts. I'm going to start with du. Sorry, u equals x, dv goes kx dx. I'm going to get du equals dx. Um, this is going to give me sine kx over k. So I'll get x sine kx over k minus the integral from 0 to 2 pi of sine kx over k. Um, and this is from 0 to pi. So if I plug in 0 to 2 pi, this sine will give me 0. So I'm getting 0. And then the integral of sine is minus cosine. And I'm going to plug in 0 and 2 pi. And so I'll get 
cosine of 2 pi k, which is 1, cosine of 0, which is 1. Alright, so I'm getting 0. So all of these will give me 0, cosine x, cosine 2x, cosine 3x. Now let's do the same thing for sine, and then we'll be able to write everything we need. Alright, so now if I look at 0 to 2 pi of x sine kx, the work will look a lot like that one, but I will not get zero. Um, sorry, I was really just copying blindly. This is a sign. And so V is minus cos kx over k. And so I'm getting minus x cos kx over k from 0 to 2 pi, and then I need to add this integral from 0 to 2 pi of cos kx over k dx. This one is minus 2 pi cos 2 pi k over k. So that's a 1. Actually, let me replace it by a 1 right now. So 2 pi. If I plug in 0, I'm going to get 0 because of that x in front. Now this one is going to give me sine kx over k squared. And I'll plug in 0 and 2 pi and get 0. So here I'm getting minus 2 pi divided by k. So let's get back to our projection formulas. So I was going to look at So I had 1 over root 2 pi x, 1 over root 2 pi, uh, plus 1 over root pi cos of x, x. I have 1 over root pi sine of x, x. And so on. Now all the terms with a cosine we just saw is getting zero. So this will be zero. And um, this one we computed that gave us where is it? So we got four pi squared over two root of two pi, and then I'm going to multiply this by root over root of two pi. All right, next one, the sine one. Um, the integral didn't have the one over root pi, so let me pull that up front. Uh, the sine gave me this. If k is equal to one, I get minus two pi times one over root pi sine of x. The next one is the same thing, but my k is 2, so I'm going to get a divided by 2. And then the final one has k equals to 3, so I will get a divided by 3. Alright, so what I'm getting... What I 
I'm getting is this is 2 pi, so I'm getting 2 pi, 4 pi, so I'm getting pi. So the constant is pi. Now the pi cancels over there, so I get minus 2 sine of x. And then this term, the pi's will cancel and the 2 will cancel as well. So I'll get minus sine 2x. And then the pi's will cancel and I'll get minus 2 thirds sine 3x. So that's the best approximation of x by trigonometric polynomials of degree 3 or less. Alright, we've computed everything um, for any k, so let's write the general one. That was question b. If I'm allowed to keep going, I'll keep going. And to see the, the pattern, let me put 2 over 2 here. So I'm going to get minus 2 over n sine of nx. So that will be my best approximation by a trig polynomial of degree n or less.